Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This symbol of a red ribbon is often seen by as many places. But what does this signify? It's the symbol used to create awareness about the acquired immune deficiency syndrome, abbreviated as AIDS, or simply human immune deficiency virus, abbreviated as HIV. The concept of red ribbon was adopted to create awareness for the disease as well as to morally afflict the people suffering from it. Now before moving ahead with the disease, let's first learn what's the mean of a syndrome. It's a condition identified by a set of related symptoms in simple words. AIDS or any syndrome is a collection of symptoms that develops together. Like in the case of AIDS, since the case leads to multiple infections due to weakening of immune system, the person suffering shows multiple symptoms all at the same time. So hypothetically, if the person contact TB, typhoid, and cholera, then symptoms of all three will be collected and they are seen in the patient. This is why AIDS is called a syndrome. In this video, learn about the syndrome, which is an infectious disease in detail. HIV is an infectious retrovirus, and what's the meaning of retrovirus? We know that the right different types of viruses classified mainly on the basis of the genetic material. Among the virus types, those viruses which have RNA as the genetic material are called retroviruses. These viruses insert the genetic material into the host cell to cause an infection. In both infection, the major task of this virus is to attack the immune system of host and weaken it. This strategy is used by the HIV to occur over the host's body completely. Now let's move ahead and learn a bit more about AIDS. This disease develops in HIV infected people if their immune system is severely compromised. The people suffering from AIDS are highly susceptible to any disease as the immune system loses the capacity to fight off even acute infections efficiently. Now how does this virus enter in the healthy host? The HIV has tendency to stay active and spread only through body fluids. So we get access to a healthy host body only through some form of body fluids. These can include blood, semen, placental transmission, and many other ways. They have often heard the saying prevention is better than cure. This is very much oft in the case of AIDS as this no cure once the disease reaches a particular stage. The only thing can be done is prevention and how is that achieved? Since ages, the most frequent mode of transmission is through sexual contact. Thus, avoiding unprotected sexual intercourse is the best way to prevent transmission of HIV. The other frequent method of transmission includes blood transfusion. So getting blood transfused without fried examination should be strictly be avoided. And also, the spread of HIV through blood becomes possible with the uses of syringes or the equipments which already used. Thus, we using syringes for medications or even sharp instruments like razors for the personal use should be avoided. And lastly, HIV easily passes from a mother to her child during pregnancy or delivery or through breastfeeding. Does proper medications and measures that will be prevent the transmission of HIV to the child should be carried out. These are few methods in which transmission of HIV infection can be prevented. And how is one detected with the infection if the unfortunate events the strike? The diagnostic technique used for testing the presence of HIV is called enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, abbreviated as ELISA. We know that the HIV is not really curable of a recent point. 
So, what can be done in the case a person gets infected? There are different drugs available today that can be consumed to control the viral growth. Due to technological advancement, now we do have a few therapies known as the antiretroviral therapies, which can be performed on the victims of HIV infection. All these medications and therapies make sure that the person's body does not support or help in extremely rapid propagation of HIV population within it. With this, we come to an end of a discussion on the topic of AIDS and HIV. Do subscribe to our channel for more interesting facts and concepts. Happy learning!